So a little Mac update for you, and I'm joined by James Fudge from the MTA. Thank you for joining us, James. Thanks for having me. Now, Mac 2018, having that year in the title, makes it seem like it's further away than it is, but it's not. It's six months away. We thought Emo was a distance away, and that's been and gone. Mm -hmm. So didn't you do a press launch at Emo? We did, yeah. We were, um, we're looking at how we attract more international visitors to the show. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had a press launch at Emo with about eight press from uh, different countries there. Um, really just talking about why they should visit the show, um, the fact that this really is a, a shop window for the UK um, and that they can come and see the uh, the high value manufacturing that we're doing in this country. So seeing as it's a shop window, mm -hmm. why should I exhibit there then? So our key message is that we get 25,500 people through the doors. Mm -hmm. um, these are people with real purchasing power, they're CEOs, they're MDs, they're the decision makers of the business. Mm. Um, and it's a chance to get in front of them and have live working machinery at the exhibition. Yeah, you can't beat that really, can you? To be honest, and I'm all for shows. At, at the end of the day, someone can sit back and do what they're doing every single day, but if you're not going to a show, you're not looking at that technology progression, then yeah, you can become quite stale if yeah, that's the and, nicer way to I think it. that's the thing is we're, you know, we live in a world where there's continual electronic communication. You'll get emails day in, day out. Um, but to actually turn up, meet people, mm. as I say, see the technology and see the advances. Mm. Um, even from show to show, we see huge technology changes and it really is that opportunity to come and see that. And it's memorable. You know, an email you just cross the way and get rid of, but you don't forget those conversations. So what are you doing, James, as the MTA for the exhibitors? So for us, we really try and maximise um, the experience the exhibitors had. So whether that's new data collection um, in terms of how they interact with visitors and swap details, or it might be that you know, we're offering more marketing support. So uh, the start of November, um, about a week's time, we've got a uh, exhibitor training day where we talk about all the different services we offer. It's a chance for them to meet the contractors. Um, but we also look at individual support we can give people. So whether that be email signatures, because um, what we want is our exhibitors to promote being at Mac. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather all my exhibitors promoted the, the show and we, you know, we, we ride on that because mm. it's better than just saying come to Mac without a specific reason, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It gives people something to aim for and target for. And a lot of, I know from working in the industry, a lot of companies put it as a signature and say, come to our stand, we've got this and this and this. Exactly. So um, next question, is there a particular theme this year? So um, there is a theme for the overarching show as such um, in that it's connected manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, but rather than having a specific zone or area, um, it's kind of the whole show. You know, it'd be great to have an I4 area, but mm. that's kind of what everyone's now everything. doing. So we've got um, an IT for manufacturing, which talks about the hardware, the software um, and the systems of the automation um, story that sits in that zone. Um, but then, as I say, the whole show is about connected manufacturing mm. um, and all that goes on within that. Any key zones um, or areas in the show that you've noticed a considerable growth? So I guess for us, yeah, we have seen growth within, um, as I said, the IT for manufacturing. Certainly the additive uh, manufacturing yes. zone is really growing. Um, certainly because as the MTA is the organisers, we are becoming sort of the trade association for additive. Um, so we've seen growth within that area. Um, and also in areas such as metal forming and metal working um, with support from the Triple MA uh, and also within the... UK supply chain zone, um, which has uh, not just the manufacturers, but also the end users and some OEMs as well. I can back you up in a lot of those cases because we do takeover shows, as you've seen before, yeah. and we've got people talking about your additive manufacturing and really pushing for Mac. So, And we always ask, are you going to Mac? What are you doing at Mac? And everyone's, the buzz is starting to kick in now. So. I think that's the thing is now, now Emo's finished as such. People mm. turn their attention to Mac. As you say, it's not that far away. No. Um, and people, particularly with the new layout, are now looking at how they promote themselves because people aren't going to walk through the door and know exactly where people are going to be. No. Um, so it's, it's new. A, it's yeah, different. Exactly. It's a little bit of change. Is there any space available? So there is. We are 90% sold. Right. Um, again, because we've got the new layout, it means that the spaces we've got available are still really good spaces. Mm -hmm. um, we've been able to make some more general space available um, outside of zones, and we've also opened up some of the other areas that we've got. So um, there is space available, but we're expecting it to go quick. And how do people get in touch with you? So the best way to do it is through the MAC website. So that's macexhibition.com. Um, there's live floor plans on there. They are 100% live. They're not updated once a week. As soon as someone books a stand, it goes. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see what spaces are available and there's all the contact details on there to get in touch with us and uh, see what we can do for you. Hopefully you will be seeing pretty much everyone either visiting or exhibiting at MAC 2018. Thank That's you, James. Hope. Thank you.